All right, guys, welcome back. I'm over here with my broski, Ilya. We're gonna try to fire up for the first time. It is super dark. I already put the engine oil in. I put some coolant in, and uh, I'm just so excited to finally see if it cranks. If it even just, you know, the starter starts to kick over, that's gonna be a huge plus, because the first time when we got it, remember we turned it, I mean, it was dead. It didn't make any clicking noise whatsoever, so this is gonna be huge. I'm gonna try to turn the key. I'm gonna give the uh, camera over to my brother. And uh, let's see if this thing will fire. I think it's warmed up and it's idling now. So it sounds pretty quiet. Guys, it's running. But it's smoking a little bit, or it was actually, but now it's gone. Here's our sound. Welcome back to the Monovich Auto Surgeon. We are back at it on this Tiguan. As you saw this little clip before this video started, we finally, finally, for the first time, got this thing fired up and it idled very nice and smooth after it um, warmed up. First, obviously, it had a lot of fumes that I had to burn out, all the things that I used, you know, WD-40 had to burn off. <laughs> but uh, we are attending one leak that we found, this uh, vacuum pump right here. When you remove the battery, you don't have to, but I, I, like, I want to just to remove the tray, that way I can actually get to a better working space. But uh, this vacuum pump right here, Either I didn't seal it properly or the gasket is there bad or I either just maybe didn't uh, tighten it enough. But there's a pretty good consistent drip out of there. You might be able to see it poured out right below right there. So uh, I'm going to have to attend that right now before I can start her back up and let her run. Or even take it for the first test drive. So I'm going to go ahead and try to remove this uh, basket right there. I already unbolted it. I'm going to try to un do that right there see what could be wrong with it hopefully it's a small and quick fix but this is exciting we're finally going to get this thing on the road i did have to get a new axle for this side because uh, one of the boots did tear this is the driver's side so it's pretty cheap like 150 bucks or something like that over here at o'reilly's so very exciting i'm gonna go ahead and try to tear this off and uh hopefully we can start it up again today all right so went ahead and removed the little ground terminal from the fuse box one two three bolts now I should be able to slide this out there we go perfect and now we're going to try to attend these bolts here I don't think I have to drain the uh, oil itself um, I'm going to try to just remove the three bolts that are holding it um, so let's see what happens all right, so this is a T30 that we'll be using right here. Small extension. I'm gonna try to take it off. It should be just three bolts. Um, might have to remove some of these since it has the hose clamps on and stuff like that. So this one's a little juicy. All right, I'm gonna have to remove this one little bracket back here. Let me try to show you. Take you out of the camera stand. Here we go. So this little bracket right there, we're gonna have to remove just in case. We don't have the clearance to, you know, move this through here. So let's go ahead and remove that. Now we should be able to slide this out. I don't know how far we'll be able to go because of this line. Uh, I think maybe if I unclamp it right there, move, be able to move it a little bit forward. So let me go ahead and do a little bit more research on that. So I went ahead and uh, pop this hose out of these little holders it goes over here so this will definitely give me plenty of play to be able to remove this completely and see what's wrong with it so let me guys set you up a little bit closer over here so you can see all right so i got a little bit more tools have to undo the fuel line right there there we go that connects right here to the bottom of that and uh so here we go that's what it looks like where it turns the vacuum the pump and uh here's the actual piece i'm guessing there's supposed to be a gasket around here 
So I'm gonna go ahead and put some gasket on there, gasket maker. And that should seal it up nicely. Won't have any more leaks, hopefully. Gonna clean the whole surface off. Put a new uh, gasket on there. Hopefully close it up. But that should definitely fix our little leak. So I went ahead and uh, skipped it apart. Made my new gasket sealer on there. Sealed it back up. It looks like it's not leaking at the moment. Otherwise, it, would, it was always having a constant drip. Now I'm just going to have to clean all this off. Make sure it's nice and clean and dry before I can start it back up. We're going to have to go get some oil as well. It's all hooked up and ready to go. I think the last thing I need to do, obviously, is put the battery tray back on here. But uh, let's go ahead and clean all that up so it's nice and clean. Supervisor's obviously here. We're working on uh, finally assembling everything. I just put the panel back on here for the battery, the battery tray. Everything's wired up over here, back in its spot. Got the fuel line back into its little groove. I just filled up a little bit more oil because it was on the low side. Now I'm feeding this box back in here. Feeds onto a little piece right there, rubber piece. And then screws in right there. It goes underneath this little piece that goes on top of the radiator. So uh, yeah, just gonna try to put it on. That's where that map sensor goes. Air to fuel ratio. Well, air. Tells how much air is coming in. <laughs> but yeah, gonna try to align this back up. There that pops in. Be able to put that screw in right there. Put this hose clamp on and we should be able to slap the battery back on here and try it out. I don't know if it'll crank and actually start because the battery is pretty low, but I'm gonna try my best. Hopefully it will, because I really want to test it out and see if there is a, still a leak. Hopefully there isn't, fingers crossed. Since it was a gasket with sealer, but it is oil resistant and everything, it holds really nice and tight. I'm going to go ahead and wait for maybe about an hour or two. I know they cure faster than that, but just safety purposes. I don't want to mess anything up. But I did torque it down, made it nice and tight. Um, let's go ahead and just reassemble all this. And uh, it should be ready for a cleanup here. I really want to get all these leaves and everything out. I'm going to use a nice little vacuum, clean all that out right there. I'm just putting it all together just to make sure. Got to fix the mechanics first before you make it nice and clean. So. or whatever I might throw a coat or something so I might have to clear it before I go let me start it but hey you know, let's try it out let's see what happens let's see here we go let me put this window down before it gets too hot okay the seat forward just a hair. All right, let's get some gas in there. Pump the gas a little. Let's do it again. Prime that engine. All right, let's try it out. Oh, look at that, it won't even try to start. I definitely might have to clear some codes. That sucks. Hopefully not. Oh wow, look at that. Started first time, I just forgot to hit the brake. <laughs> wow, that was funny. Oh yeah, you see that, no codes? Beautiful. Let's go ahead and check our leaks. We're good here, obviously. Let's get underneath. All right. Let's 
so should be coming from there which right now there's nothing that's seeable we're gonna let it run and then we'll see what happens let's get back out you can tell that torque converter finally on there look at that spin Woo! sounds really nice right now actually so I'm gonna let it idle and then hopefully by then it should show if there's a leak or anything um, right now there isn't best I can tell yeah everything looks dry looks like our gasket is working pretty good well as it should <laughs> all right we might even take it for a spin today that's gonna be amazing first drive and well, not first start, but <laughs> it's all right. But everything is doing well. I'm pretty sure this was my first time doing a uh, timing on any engine. I was kind of sketched out, but you know, with the help of my friend Tyler, huge shout out to you, man. She is purring, brother. The engine that I got from you is sitting in here and is doing wonderful. Sounds as it should. So hopefully here in a minute, we'll get to take a test ride. That is so exciting. I've just never done it. This thing is beautiful. I think the only thing we have to do, I already have the tail light, so that's not a problem. I do have this little cap for this. And, and, the only thing we really need to do is this door right here. This damage right here, this little hit, I think we'll be able to pull it out. I have a dent puller, so uh, we'll work on it a little bit. And then we gotta paint this. This rear bumper kinda got scuffed up with this panel. So we'll see what we can do about that. Definitely need to clean up. Hey, we might paint some rims. That might be another video coming. Right now, well, look at that, guys. I don't see any leaks, do you? She's doing wonderful. We're gonna have to move some vehicles back just so we can get a test ride. But uh, this is exciting. This is so awesome. Let's see. She's not overheating or anything. She hasn't even started warming up. All right, We've got plenty of gas from whenever we got it from the auction, so that's awesome. See, the only thing that's showing is the seat belt. Let's see if we can fix that. If that is a thing, because no airbags were blown, unless somebody hit it and changed it. Let's see, we're gonna connect this one. Oh yeah, gone. Look at that. No lights, guys. Huge, huge thing. 66,000 miles. Not bad at all for a vehicle like this. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Definitely needs a clean. You know, this is all gonna get cleaned up. That's the next project. <laughs> uh, but uh, she's still purring. Pretty sure this is idle already, and she's nice and quiet. No knocking, no nothing like that. Let me just stop talking so you guys can hear it. See? No leaks. So that's a huge plus. <laughs> this is awesome. Definitely gonna take a test ride right now. Definitely gonna do that for you guys. Let me move those vehicles. Yeah, we'll get this thing on the road. Won't go too far because I don't want to get stopped somewhere and uh, something fails. So let me get those moved and we'll get this thing on the road. Here we go. She's finally getting up to temp. It's wonderful. Gonna go ahead and uh, take her for a spin see if the radio works and drive it yep all right awesome awesome let's go ahead and take her for a ride all right guys so sad news i tried to go ahead and drive this thing did not want to drive when we put it into gear the indications were showing properly so we put it correctly on top of the transmission but sadly it would not go we did a full uh, test on the transmission fluid Make sure it is the perfect level and it's brand new fluid. So we might have to actually pull the transmission out one more time just to look at the converter. Maybe we put it in there improperly because it is very, very uh, technical and finicky how it goes in. But hey, huge progress. We didn't have an engine. We didn't have it where it would start. Now it starts and fires up perfectly every single time. No problem whatsoever. Also, no leaks whatsoever. So that is so awesome. Now, all we got to do is try to figure out 
why she won't actually engage into gear. I'm sure it won't be so difficult, but that'll be in the next video. I appreciate guys all support. Make sure to tap that subscribe button, hit the little bell to get notifications, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.